So for spring summer 2024, Hermes has teased us with 10 new bags and they're all a vibe. Now listen, if you caught my recent collaboration with Jamie at Lux Petite, we went through, we reviewed some of our best and most favorite 2024 spring summer runways from Fashion Week, and Hermes was my number one over here on my channel. And what I loved about the Hermes collection is, well, A, they walked through a cute little bucolic field, which was a vibe 100, but they did a lot of texture play, play with modern minimalist cuts. We're seeing a lot of heritage leathers come back. And I think the big style takeaway for 2024 is both going to be textures and rich warm shades of red and neutrals. And quite frankly, I'm here for it. Before we dive in though, hey guys, my name is Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content when every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. If that's something you're into, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Consider joining the membership and becoming a member. There's a lot of extra perks, access, meetups, a Discord. It's a really fun, engaged community. So first up in this collection, we saw the re-emergence, if you will, of the JPG Shoulder Birkin. Now, the Shoulder Birkin is 100% a vibe, and I came this close to buying one before I picked my box calf Birkin back here. But the JPG Shoulder Birkin, it's, it's basically like a play on the Birkin, with shorter aesthetics, it's 42 centimeters long. Like it's a big boy. And tall shoulder straps because obviously shoulder Birkin. They've brought it back again for spring, summer 2024 and they've shown it in a beautiful denim material. Again, I think that we're gonna be seeing a lot of denim as well for 2024. LV has announced that they're bringing back their denim collection, which is 100% a vibe. But what I love most about the JPG Birkin is, yes, it's very of its era, like it, is from its time, obviously, like it's giving early 2000s energy, but bringing it back, doing it in heritage leather, showing it in denim, it's kind of giving it like a refreshed vibe, perfect for 2024. Now, aside from the JPG Birkin, we saw two more Birkins. I have a theory about one, but I'm gonna save that for the end, so make sure you stick around. We saw a new version of the famous limited edition Faubourg Birkin, the Disco Birkin. Now listen guys, I was, I've been reading articles, I've been watching other reviews, reactions to this collection, and it's it's pretty, pretty split. You either really love the Disco Birkin, or it's a huge disappointment. Like, and I don't know really which camp I fall into because I can see it for the artistry. Yes, they didn't do like those beautiful cutouts. There's not a whole lot of exotics like you see on the original day and night version or my personal favorite, the snow version. Check it out if you haven't, cause it is literally gorgeous. But the, the new disco version, it's it's very low key, it's, it's minimal. But like my favorite part was the disco ball lock on the front. I thought that was pretty darn cool. Again, I think they could have done something a little bit more with like metallics. Like I get what they were trying to do with the artwork on the front, but I mean, aside from the lock, maybe I don't love it as much as I thought I did because it, it kind of falls flat in comparison to the previous years. One of the bags that I was most excited to see reintroduced into the collection was the plume bag. Now, if you're familiar with the plume, it's been discontinued for a minute. Well, not discontinued, but retired for a minute. And this is one of Hermes's oldest bags. It was originally introduced in the 1960s. It is low key a vibe. I'm so excited to see it back again. Now, she, she's seen some things. She's an older design, but they've refreshed her for 2024. They showed her in two different leathers, Chev and Swift, which are both a vibe. I would love a Swift one in my opinion. The bag has feet and of the two sizes they showed, they showed us a mini and a classic tote size, which from the my judgment, the way it was sitting on the models, I would probably attribute that to being similar to like Kelly or Birkin 35, 40 almost. So it's a decent sized bag without being ludicrously capacious and it has feet. Like it's a gorgeous bag and I am so excited to see it back. Hopping on the trend of huge totes, Hermes did not disappoint. They had the Panier de Ate and then another just like large leather tote. I didn't quite catch the name of that one. But on the de Ate, it's a gorgeous tote. It's gonna be a mixture of both heritage leathers like box, a nice woven grass or straw material on the bottom half, and quite literally perfect for summer. They again showed it in two different colors. They showed it in the black colorway, also kind of like a nice rich oxblood, almost rouge H colorway, which again is going to be the recurring theme, I think, for 2024. Again, neutrals, darker colors, darker, richer reds. That's going to be the vibe for next year, and I'm 100% here for it. But this bag is stunning, you guys. It's going to be perfect for summer, perfect for the beach, perfect for bumming around to seaside town for the weekend. Like it is a really good bag. Now, if you don't need that much space, but you still want the vibe, they had the pochette de Ate, which again, it's like a little cute mini version, heritage box cap leather up at the top, heritage leather strap. And I like it, I really do. But if you're looking to get that look for less, 
10-15 years ago, Coach Legacy had a very similar clutch, which I'll link down below if I can find a good one for you, that can do the same look for about a tenth of the money. But either way, the Pochette and the Panier de Ate are both gorgeous bags and I'm so excited to see them. I am on a shoulder bag journey right now. I recently just unboxed my Vespa, my Hermes Vespa PM, if you haven't seen it yet. Again, links down below. But I'm kind of living for these like hands-free shoulder bag moments. This bag is quite possibly my favorite one from this show. This is the Assam bag, which in my opinion is very reminiscent to the 90s Gao shoulder bag that Hermes had, you know, previously. It's a beautiful classic hobo, but they've updated it with the exterior pocket. It looks super comfortable because of that nice wide strap up at the top. And just the way that it's cut, it's going to drape nicely on the body. The Asan, I think, is going to be a bestseller for next year. Now, this next re-edition is something to get pretty excited about because it's not something that we've really seen Hermes do in the past, but they've re-editioned the Fonz Bell shoulder bag with a gorgeous chain strap. Now, originally when this bag was out several years ago, it's been a good minute since we've seen Fawn's Bell, but this bag had like, you know, like the typical leather strap, very similar to like what we would see on like the Constance with that construction. However, now it has this like beautiful, chunky, over the top chain strap, which kind of dresses the bag up. This is gonna make it better for like evenings, events, things like that. Like this is gonna be your go-to evening bag. And what I love so much about this bag is again, it's staying under the radar. Yes, we have the Constance Elan that's coming out as well, well, but this bag, rather than having that huge H on the front, it's just going to have that cool chain detail for the closure. And quite frankly, it's a vibe. Now, during the show, they showed it in box, but I've heard that it's going to be available in other leathers as well. So I'm excited to see what they do with this bag. Now, speaking of the Constance Salon, it is returning again for next year. The strap is going to be a little bit longer this time than the C18. And again, they're showing it in box leathers. I think that Heritage leathers for the House of Hermes next year are going to be Crucial, I think they're gonna be pushing them a lot more. We're gonna be seeing a lot of like Berenia, Box, other heritage leathers, and quite frankly, do not be afraid of Box. I have two Box bags in my collection. Box leather, it is gorgeous, it is beautiful, it's sumptuous, and over time, all those little scratches are just gonna kind of meld together and create like a mirrored finish. Like it is, mm, I cannot talk enough about how much I love Box. So I'm super excited to see that this is gonna be a key player for Hermes next year. Speaking of the Elan bags, we're seeing the Kelly Elan again for next year, which is super exciting. We did see it for fall, winter 23, but it was last shown in a crocodile. This time again, they're showing it in what? If you said box, you're correct. And for this current season, they've updated it with a beautiful chain strap, which I'm imagining could probably double as a bracelet if you wanted to take it off and wrap it around your wrist, would be 100% a vibe. But you guys, I love the Kelly collection. It's just like the perfect style. Speaking of the Kelly, they also showed us the Kelly Mini in the marquetry version. You guys, I, can you even with this bag? So this marquetry style features an inlaid wood veneer horse right on the front of the bag, you guys. It is a vibe. I love collecting antique furniture. In fact, we have a beautiful marquetry table that we use as our bar table out in the great room. The way that they were able to engineer such a neat thing and then lay it into the leather blows my mind. And what's really cool about this bag is the hidden Easter egg on the horse's saddle. So it features the number 24, which it's giving Pixar, you know, secret Easter egg energy. 24 stands for 24 Rue de Faubourg Saint Honoré, otherwise known as the mothership of Hermes. This bag is such a vibe that they didn't just do it for the mini Kelly. They also introduced that finish for the Kelly Alon. So if you have the opportunity to buy this, please do not turn it down. Just, just snap it up because I'm going to live vicariously through you because it's a fabulous bag. And the show ended with a beautiful climax of a gorgeous, Birkin 35 in box calf leather. You know, the conspiracy theorist in me thinks that maybe this was like a nod to Jane Birkin and her passing this past year. And it was just a beautiful way to end the show. And in my opinion, I mean, I might be a little biased, but there is nothing better than a box calf Birkin. Like it is the perfect bag and the best way to end an otherwise perfect show. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this comprehensive list. I'm super excited to see what 2024 brings for Hermes. We have a lot of beautiful colors coming into play, heritage leathers, the ready to wear is gonna be amazing. And I think it's gonna be a really good year for collectors. So anyway, thank you for joining me today. And until next time, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.